Maths and now in our third lesson of the week. And this lesson, it looks very similar. I drew a graph, very similar graph. But this is not distance time graph. This is a speed time graph. Okay? So going back to our, let's say, example of a road trip to uh, Cape Town. And now we're recording not the distance that the car moved. We're not looking at that number uh, under the steering wheel. Or we're looking at a different uh, uh, number, and that's the speed. So imagine we just write down, we look at the, uh, at the dial where it says our speed, and we write down the speed every, let's say, minutes. Okay? We write down the speed, okay? And we put it in the graph, in the table, okay? Uh, first minute, uh, at the beginning, the speed was zero. After one minute, the speed was 20 kilometers. After three, two minutes, it was 30. And we write it down over, let's say, 10 minutes, okay? We write down the speed. And then we draw a graph, okay? And this is what we got. So again, as we did before, we need to be able to look at the graph and use words to describe uh, what, what happened. How, how did our motion change? How to describe our motion, okay? Okay, and, and by the way, we might yeah, have to be able to do the opposite. So you'll have to, uh, and I'll give you some exercise in, in uh, below the video where you have to uh, write down a story for you of describing how the car moved and then you need to be able to sketch a graph. So it's worth either way. Either you get a graph in a text, you're either going to get a graph and have to describe it in words or I'm going to give you a description of our movement and you need to sketch it. And it's for distance time graph and speed time graph. Okay? Right. So in the beginning, obviously here you can see in the beginning our speed was zero. Okay? So the speed was zero. And then after two seconds, or two minutes, I don't know, whatever we're working with, okay, let's say our speed was uh, 10 kilometers an hour, okay, 10, 20, and this is 30. So how would we describe, we've got a straight line going up, straight line going up. How would we describe the motion, okay? Now, some of you, I think, will probably say, oh, so we learned that last lesson, sir. You said straight line is constant speed. So this is constant speed. But remember, yesterday, or last lesson, was a distance time graph. Now, this is a speed time graph. It's not going to be the same. So a straight line here is not the same straight line in the distance time graph. Think about it. The speed, this is speed now. This is not distance. This is not 10... Uh, uh, kilometers. This is not 10 kilometers. This is 10 kilometers an hour. So our speed changed from 0 to 10. If the speed changes, obviously it can't be constant speed. We're not traveling the same speed. The speed is actually increasing. So a straight line here, and I'll write it down at the end, okay? A straight line here means constant acceleration. The speed is increasing. The speed is increasing from 0 to 10. So the speed is increasing gradually, we have constant acceleration. Okay, I'll write it down now. Okay, so straight line means constant acceleration. Now, here we have another straight line. So obviously it's another constant acceleration. But what's the difference between this straight line and this straight line? And I think many of you will figure out to say, you will tell me, sir, this is a steeper line. Okay, so what does it mean that the line is steeper? Well, it tells you that the acceleration is higher. Look at this. Here, it took us two minutes, or zero to two, to increase our speed from zero to 10 meters per second. So it took us two minutes to increase our speed by 10. Okay? Here, between two and three, that means in one minute, we changed our speed from 10 to 30. So we increased our speed 20 meters per second. We increased, that, we increased from 10 to 30, increased by 20. In one minute. So obviously the acceleration is higher. Okay, so steeper graph. Okay, this is a steeper graph that means higher acceleration. Okay, so the steepness, you're getting the feeling now, the steepness in a speed time graph, it's not the speed, it's the acceleration. Okay, what about a flat line, a horizontal line? Again, I'm sure that half of you guys will tell me, oh, I know how flying, so I know how flying from last lesson. So, uh, a flat line, a horizontal line, that means stationary. But are we stationary here? You've got to ask yourself, what is our speed between what is it, the third and the fifth minute? Well, the speed is 30 meters, 30 kilometers.
kilometers an hour. So we can't be stationary if we're moving 30 kilometers an hour. So a flat line, oops, okay, a horizontal line in a speed time graph is not stationary, it's constant speed. Between here and there, between the, the third and the fifth minute, the speed was always 30 kilometers an hour. If it's constantly 30 kilometers an hour, it didn't change. That means it's constant speed. Okay? So constant speed, or we'll put it like that. Horizontal line means constant speed. Now the last bit actually got something new. Okay, so for the first time we didn't have that in the distance graph, time graph, but now the line is going down. Okay, we didn't have it in the distance time graph. I'll explain maybe later when you guys are back in school. Okay, what does that mean? What does it mean that line goes back? Again, I'm sure that quite a few people will think in their mind or even probably, oh sir, I, I, that makes sense. We're just going back, returning back. We're not really, or we're not necessarily, okay? Let's look at the speed. To really answer your question, you need to look at what's happening to the speed. So here, the speed was 30 kilometers an hour, and then it slowly decreases until we reach zero again. The speed here is zero. So we might well be still moving forward towards Cape Town, but what's happening to the speed? It decreases, okay? So if graph goes down, That means speed is decreasing. Okay? And we know the name for speed decreasing, right? We will mention that. That's decel deceleration, right? Deceleration. Ran out of space. Okay? Deceleration. Can you see this? Yeah, you can just about see it. Okay? So if the graphs go down, later years we'll say it's a negative gradient. But don't worry about it now. It's going down. I mean, the speed is decreasing, okay? We're only going to deal with straight lines and speed time graphs. We're not going to have curves like we had in the distance time graph because we really only going to look at constant and uh, acceleration and deceleration. So, let's summarize. Okay, so, um, yeah, the thing, just like in distance time graph, the thing to remember was that the steepness of the graph is really the speed. In a speed time graph, the steepness of the graph, and this is the more thing to remember, so write it down. The steepness of a speed time graph is the acceleration or deceleration. What does that mean? First of all, when we have a straight line, and we're only going to work with straight line in grade 8, so nothing to worry about here. Straight line means constant acceleration. You accelerate, you're speeding up gradually in a constant way. The rate of increase of the speed is the same. Okay? If you have a steeper graph, you can see this bit is steeper than that. Steeper graph means higher acceleration. The speed is increasing in a faster rate. Horizontal line, okay? Horizontal line means uh, constant speed, okay? Right? So horizontal line means there's no steepness. The steepness is zero. The more it gets with the gradient is zero, okay? That means that we have constant speed. The speed is not changing. If we're not accelerating, the speed is remaining the same. Now we also have a possibility of the speed time graph going down. That means it's like negative steepness. Okay? If this is going up here, negative steepness is like sliding down. So if we slide down, if the graph goes down, if it's negative steepness, it's not going to be accelerating, it's going to be decelerating. I want to just add one more thing. If you notice, if you remember, when we had a stationary graph in the distance time graph, that was flat line. And now we know that flat horizontal line is not stationary, just constant speed. So if I want to draw a stationary object on a speed time graph, how can I draw it? Because, you know, that's not it. That's just constant speed, 30 kilometers an hour. How would I draw an object, a stationary object, in a, in a, a speed time graph? Okay? So to answer that, we just need to think about it. What is the speed of a stationary object? Okay? If it's not moving, what do we say the speed is? And everyone will be able to tell me the answer. The speed is obviously zero, sir. Okay? So I need to draw a graph that shows that the speed is zero. Where is the speed? Over here. So if, let's say, here, I want to draw...
draw a, a station object, what I need to draw is a line, it is a horizontal line, but it's a horizontal line on the x-axis where the speed is zero. Okay? So a horizontal line, horizontal line with speed equals zero, that means stationary. If you want to draw a stationary object, or you want to draw what does a stationary object look like on the speed time graph, there has to be a horizontal line where the speed is zero on the x axis. Okay, guys, please do the work underneath the worksheets, and I'll see you next lesson.